Hi everyone, this is Jeanette Comerford and this is the fifth video in my mini Halloween card series. Today I'm just going to take you through cutting the card stock and the die cutting for the cards in this series. I started off with a piece of 12 by 12 card stock and I'm just cutting that down at 4 and then I'm cutting it to measure 8. That piece is the only piece that's left over. After that I just take my card stock and I cut it at 4. So I'm going to do that two more times. And then I'm left with four pieces of 4x8 cardstock that I'm just going to score in the middle to create my 4x4 four four cards. So you can see that with one piece of cardstock, you can create four of these mini cards. So I'm just scoring those now. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is cutting the pattern paper, which just to show you that I was using pieces from 6x6 six six paper packs, um, pieces of scrap paper, and just cutting them down to size to measure 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. And so if you do like a whole bunch of these at the same time, it's much faster than creating one card at a time. So this is a time saver for me when I'm creating a bunch of cards that are very similar. I will go ahead and cut all the card bases, cut all the pattern paper, cut all the die cuts, stamp out all the images I'm going to use, and then cut them out. So that's all sort of done before I start putting the cards together. It just makes the process a little more fun and a lot quicker. So. I'm getting ready. I think this is the last one. Do I have any more? Nope, I have another one. So you can see I was just getting rid of all my my leftover Halloween paper. So the rest, oh, the rest of the pattern paper I'm just going to put to the side. And then I just grabbed my Big Shot and I just wanted to show you how you can um, save time by cutting a whole bunch of things at the same time. So I'm just laying my dies down I'm trying to sort of fit them in so I can get as many as possible on. And I just hold them down with pieces of post-it um, tape. And this way I get to just pass them through once and get a whole bunch cut at the same time. So you can see I was just trying to make sure that everything was going to be cut out properly. Now this is a little metal shim that I put on top. Um, it just helps me um, get a nice crisp cut so that you're not left sort of, you know, trying to get the little pieces out. So you can see how nicely everything just sort of cuts through when you use that metal shim. Um, if you don't have a metal shim, I found using a piece of wax paper in between the cardstock and the die also works super, super well. So that's my video for today. Sorry it's short and sweet. Here are the supplies for the card that I showed you at the beginning. Thanks for watching.